today on In the Herd, we are giving you an inside look into the Bucknell Athletics and Recreation Leadership Academy and its second annual kickoff event. 59 student athletes were selected to participate in this year's academy after exhibiting outstanding leadership ability or potential. The group gathered at the Cowan Conference Center on Sunday for team building exercises, which included water balloon tossing, tug of war, transportation, and even an egg drop, which volleyball's Katie Price said was a change of pace event for her. When we did the egg drop, um, I was in a group with um, five phenomenal leaders, and rather than taking my uh, usual um, vocal and uh, leading by example role, I kind of stepped off to the side and did my own um, own thing, which was a change of pace for me, but um, it was an interesting way to perspectivize my leadership, um, and it was a way that I helped my group um, that was different than usual. Swimming and diving's Tim Burley said that the academy helps him out in a specific way. You're talking about leaders on the athletic teams at a great university, so uh, you know just from that standpoint alone that these are phenomenal individuals, and getting to know them better and picking, them, picking their brains as much as I can, that's probably what I'll take away most. After the group concluded the exercises at Cowan, they gathered at the Langone Center Forum to hear former Bucknell president Dr. Gary Soika speak. And his major theme was the need for a leader to also follow. I think, I think leaders often make the best followers because they understand what goes into leadership. They know when it's appropriate to cut a leader a little slack. They know maybe when things have gone so far awry that they either have to help the leader or they have to take a group in a different direction. They also know how to do their job in a way that makes it easier for a leader to lead. And all of those things are important because when we advance in this world, we don't do it alone. We do it as a group. And groups have leaders and groups have followers and groups have subalterns. And to know how to do that is absolutely critical. And without the kind of experience these young people are getting, I don't really know where you pick that up. Price says she hopes to incorporate Dr. Soika's words into her experience with the Leadership Academy, but no matter what, she knows that this has been a lot of fun. This is our real sport. We're not engineers, but we're still smart on the court. Uh, uh, are we men? And this egg drop, we won't let it run. This is my first year on the Leadership Academy, um, and I'm already um, engaged in the, I'm one of the co-chairs for the Community Day event, which is so exciting, um, and it's amazing to just be able to see so many visions come to life th through this academy. Um, I'm excited to spend the rest of my three years in this academy here and um, to develop my skills as a leader um, and hopefully be able to implement that on the volleyball court as a captain and a leader.